today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create three different retro text effects inspired by Glass Animal's lyric video, Heat Waves. All right, let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to do is create that window screen, that computer screen where all the lyrics live in that lyric video. But I designed my own in Photoshop with a transparency layer. So I've already imported that into Premiere Pro underneath graphics, window screen.psd. I'm gonna drag and drop that on my timeline here. So the reason why we don't see anything is because this PSD file is in a 4K resolution, but the sequence is in 1080p. To fix that, we can go up to clip, video options, scale to frame size. Now this is optional, but if you wanna have that gradient background behind the frame, you can go up to essential graphics. And from here, we can go to create a rectangle. And now we need to scale this up to fill the frame. Now I recommend clicking off the shape layer so that way we can use the vector transform tools to not lose resolution. So if we use this scale parameter here, you can click and drag just to fill this up in the frame. Next, we can click back on the shape and from appearance, we can change the fill using the color picker window. And from here we can choose linear gradient and adjust the colors. Now we need to bring this graphic layer below the window screen. Now we need to create a background to fill inside of the lyric window. Once again, we're gonna go create another rectangle. You can go up to essential graphics to do that, or you can just go over here to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. And before we make this new rectangle, just make sure to click off of the graphic layer. So that way we're gonna make our own new independent graphic layer. So from here, we can just click in the upper corner and drag to fill the frame. And I'm gonna change the shape fill. If I click on shape, go down to appearance, click on fill, and let's change it to the magenta color and press OK. And now I'm gonna bring this graphic inside of the window screen PSD, so underneath of it, so it's on video layer two. And I'm gonna bring up window screen again because we're going to add our text layer here. In the original music video, it looks like this, wiggling the vision and the text is all wiggly. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate that. Go to the type tool and go up here and type out wiggling the vision. Now we can select it and make sure that it's center aligned and then we can go up to align and transform and select horizontal center. Now we need to make it a little bit smaller because we want it to fit in the window frame. And the font that I'm using is called public pixel. I also have a fill that's orange and I also added a drop shadow here by enabling that with the checkbox. So you'll notice it created a graphics layer in the timeline. We need to drag that down and bring it underneath the windows screen.psd. So from here, I'm just going to control click and duplicate this six times. So now we have six copies of Wiggling the Vision, but they're all stacked up on top of each other. So I can go back to the selection tool and drag them down here to separate them out. Select the first one, press shift, select the last text layer, and then we can press horizontal center because we want it to be aligned first. And then with the new align and transform, we can select distribute vertically and that will shift everything up. So it has the equal amount of space between each line. Now it's the fun part. We can go to effects and search for turbulent displace, drag and drop this onto the text layer here. It's all warped, but we need to do some animation here. So go to effect controls, move the playhead to the beginning from turbulent displace. I'm gonna change the amount to 56 and around 70 to start. And then I'm going to press the toggle animation on both of them. So now that we have our two first keyframes, now we need to set our end keyframe. I'm gonna go just after wiggling the vision here and this will be our end point. From here, you can play around with changing the amount in the size. In my case, I did 33 and 45. That was the amount that was great. So let's see how this looks. It looks pretty similar to the original, but there's a few more effects that we can add. First, we need to make it a little bit fuzzy. So we can go up to effects and we can go to Gaussian blur and drag and drop this onto the text layer here. From effect controls, we can find Gaussian blur and add about five points of blur. If we add too much, then you can't really see it. So just a subtle amount, because some of the other effects we'll apply will add a little bit more blur. Then this is also optional, but from a stock video site, I downloaded a retro VHS analog loop. Bring the window screen up 
and drag this underneath, scale this down so it'll fit in frame. From effect controls, I'm gonna go to blend mode and choose screen to get rid of the black. And then you'll also see that it bleeds over the edge of the window. So I'm going to create a four point polygon mask here. Go to the corner, press shift and scale it up and just move the points here so that way the VHS overlay is just over the window. And just a few more effects here. If you want to get the glitch, we can search for Prism by Boris FX. It's part of the continuum. It's completely optional. It is a plugin. You do have to pay for it, but I use these effects all the time and they're great. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this onto the text layer here. And you can see it just added that little RGB split around the edges of the text. So that is just the first effect. So you can see how much work goes in just to one lyric. So you can imagine how long this video took. Welcome back, I'm Kelsey. And if this video tutorial is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. Also, you might be wondering how I'm able to use popular chart music in this video without getting demonetized or getting the video taken down. Well, the secret weapon is licked. Basically, it's a chart music library where you can go and search for popular music from your favorite artist, license it for a small fee, and use it in your own videos. So how does it work? Search for your favorite track underneath chart, and let's say you wanna license Heat Waves by Glass Animals, you'll just click on license, and you'll be able to download that and use it multiple times in the same video. You can also search under Essentials, which is non-chart stock music, and you can license those music tracks and use them in multiple videos. On the right, you'll also find a bunch of search filters that will help you find the track to fit your vibe. You can also click on the little ellipsis here and it will show you the song information so what target platforms you're allowed to use it on so it's more than just YouTube. So if you react to popular songs on YouTube and you're tired of your videos getting demonetized or you just want to start using your favorite music, try Licked. And trust me, the fee is super reasonable. It's like buying your favorite drink from Starbucks. And in my opinion, the best part about using Licked is that you're supporting the artists that you love and in return you can use their music in your videos without losing revenue. So it's a win for you, it's a win for the artist, and it's a win for Licked. So that way they can continue to add more label music to their chart music library. So if you're a YouTube creator and you want to try out Licked, you can use my link below to get 50% off your first chart music track or 14 days free of the essential stock music. Thanks so much to Lick for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into the music video effects. So the next lyric is I'm swimming in a mirror. So you can see it's already typed out here, but with the text layer, the most important thing here from I'm swimming in a mirror is that each text layer is on its own line. So you can just press return, just like in a Word document, it works the same. And the text needs to be left aligned, not in the center. The next thing we need to do is go over to effects and search for mirror. And there's a built-in mirror effect underneath distort drag and drop it onto the text layer. And from here, we need to go to effect controls. So find the mirror effect here and let's change the angle to 180. And then you're like, wait a minute, it just disappeared. But that's okay because we just need to change the reflection center. So here at 1280, just click and move this over and then it appears again. And so you can adjust this with how much space you want between. But you'll notice that when we go up to vector motion and we want to move this over, it just separates them out. It doesn't do the normal thing where it moves it over. So this is where we need to go to effects and search for transform, drag and drop it on the text, which basically just allows us to have a whole new set of transform tools. So we can just shift this over and realign it back into place. So I'll use this transform effect a lot if for some reason I can't use the normal vector motion controls. So in the original, each line is animated in one at a time. And this is where we can use the masking tool. So with the text layer selected, I'm gonna go to effect controls. And now we can create a mask using the opacity tools at the bottom and create a four point polygon mask. And from here, we can just, you know, adjust the mask to show the first line first. And we can take away the feathering. So now we need to create our end keyframe. Just click on the toggle animation watch next to mask path. And then we can go back a few frames and from the mask, select it. We can just click on it with the hand tool and bring it up. 
And now between these two points, it'll animate that first lyric. And then we can do the same for all the lyrics. We'll just animate it down. So I'll do that really quickly. So this is how it looks when it's animating down. So one more thing that wasn't in the original lyric video is to add a wave warp because this is about swimming. So I thought it would be cool to make it look like it's kind of waving a little bit. So you can go to effects and search for wave warp and wave warp is a really useful effect for creating retro effects. So just by dragging it onto the clip already, you can see it's a little bit too much. So we can go to effect controls. We can decrease the height and increase the width. So I can change this to five and I can change the width to be huge, like 525. And this will just add a slight wave. So it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go back to the original effect and I'm going to copy, press command or control to copy the prism and the Gaussian blur, not turbulent displays, we don't want that. Press command C or control C. And then we can go back to, I'm swimming in a mirror and go back to the effect controls and press command V to paste the Gaussian blur in the prism effect. And look at that. Pretty cool, right? And we can also go in and go to effects and add the video glitch effect on top. Pretty great. Now let's go on to the third and final text effect. The last lyric is late nights in the middle of June, which is ironic because it's a late night in the middle of June for me right now. But let's just play this to see what is happening with this animation. Late nights in the middle of June. So it's a lot of scaling and it's not proportional scaling. It's scaling the vertical and the horizontal as well. So here I have the rectangle background that's orange and I already have typed out two lines of text. And you'll notice that the font actually looks a little bit stretched out and I actually did that on purpose. If I go to align and transform, you can see that this link set scale lock has been deactivated. When it's activated, it's blue. So it would be fully scaled proportionally. So I turned that off. And what I did is I moved this first parameter to stretch it up like that. So that way it would have that kind of stretch effect. But how do we animate them to stretch? This is where we're gonna go to effect controls and use vector motion. So essentially for this animation, we want it to start stretched out and then get smaller and move up over time. So first we need to uncheck the uniform scale because we want to be able to animate the height only. So now you can see we have scale height and scale width. So here I'm going to select position animation and toggle animation on scale height. And the reason why I did position is because I'm going to be moving the words up as well. So now we can move over to when nights end. So right around here is when nights ends. So here we can then adjust the scale height to be smaller by dragging it to a lower number and then move the position vertical up. You can select vector motion and then just move it up like this. But I find that when I do that, I'll shift it side to side because it's not perfect. This is why I prefer to use the vertical parameter because it stays perfectly in line. So now it goes like this and it shrinks down exactly like we saw. One other thing is if you want nights to appear later on, we can actually animate the opacity. So we can go down to transform opacity, create a keyframe here, add keyframes and go over and let's change this to zero. So it will appear. So now we need to add more in the at the bottom and then middle to come in. So now that we have in and the created, roll this text layer back to when in and the come in. Here he says in, so let's just roll this in here. And then when middle comes down, that's when we want them to animate down. So we can select this layer, go to vector motion, make sure uniform scale is turned off. So if it's checked, make sure it's off, toggle animate position, toggle animate height. Then we can move forward a bit to set our out point and let's reduce the scale height down, squish them down real small here. And then the position, let's move it down just like this. So we can make adjustments to these keyframes here, but now we need to bring in the word middle. So I just typed out a new text middle here and placed it in between late nights and in the, and it created a new text layer above the window screen. I'm just going to bring this down so it's easier to work with and cut off the excess here. So now from our reference, look what happens. In the middle, 
and it gets stretched down. So select the in and the the layer and let's go to the moment of our start keyframe. Then go back to the middle clip here and we're gonna do the same thing, uniform scale, scale height, position two, and then we'll go forward to when it ends right here. Again, use the arrow keys, it's helpful. And then we can scale the height of the middle while moving it down at the same time, just like this. And now let's see how it looks. This one is looking really great now, but now what we can do is we can actually nest all of these text layers together and apply those effects. So to create a nest, you can lasso and select all three text layers and we can control click and select nest. And now it creates its own singular nested sequence with everything inside. And then we can actually apply the effects to it. So we can go and we can put the video glitch from Boris effects on here, the prism effect. And here's how it looks with all of the added effects. Great, it's looking awesome. And I already did the of June lyric as well. And I'm not going to start this from scratch, but let me just break it down for you. I nested it here already. So I'm gonna double click to open up that nest. And you'll see that I have of and June on the same layer here. What I actually ended up keyframing here was the transform of the text layer itself for both of and June because they happen separately. I animated of to go from being big to in the corner. And at the same time down here, I animated June from going small to bigger. So that's how I did that one. And then I added this cool graphic because in the original, you'll see that there is like some palm trees in the background. So I took this monochrome palm JPEG that I got from a stock site and I just put it on top of the blue background beneath the text layer. And from effect controls, I changed the blend mode from normal, which this is what it looks like, to soft light. And I also decreased it down. So it used to be 100%. So I decreased it down to like 30%. So it just blends in better. So you can take all these effects and make something like this. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. Heatwaves been faking me. Remember, if you want to see that final sequence here and see all the different effects I used, because I used a horizontal flip, if you're not sure how to use that, you can go and download the project files below by becoming a member. So go check that out. Also, a huge thanks to Licked for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to get 50% off your first chart music track and 14 days free of their essential stock music by using my link below. If you have any other questions, you can just leave a comment below. And if you want to learn some more music video effects, you can just click right over here to watch more videos and you can click right over here to check out more awesome effects on my website. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.